Hi, I'm Colleen patrick Adro. I'm gonna show you how to make two delicious, easy dishes with kale. Kale's packed with calcium, phytonutrients, antioxidants, fiber, vitamin K, and it's also delicious. So I thought we would take a look at what kale looks like growing in the garden. This is one of my gardens, and it's filled with kale. It's got a lacinato, also called dinosaur kale, or you've got a curly kale, also called purple kale. You can find this in any grocery store or farmer's market. And you can just pull it away with your finger, or you can snip it with some scissors or shears. So we've just clipped that off. We've got some of the stem. And we can do the same thing with the lacinato. Pretty easy. So that's it. So we're gonna grab some more and then we're gonna uh, come back with our cooking demonstration. Okay, so let's make some kale chips. We're gonna use a curly kale for this. You could also use a lacinato kale. And it's so easy, just rip the leaves away from the rib. And you can see that the rib is pretty thick, so you're not gonna include the rib in this. Rip away the leaves, throw them in your bowl, and basically toss the leaves with your favorite oil. Mine is a blood orange olive oil. The main thing is to coat every leaf with the oil and get your hands in there to do that. Coat all the leaves with the oil. And then we're going to add some salt. Now you can really overdo the salt very quickly, so just use it sparingly. And we're gonna put some nutritional yeast in as well. Nutritional yeast just has a wonderful cheesy flavor. And toss that really well, and again, make sure the leaves are completely coated. Preheat the oven to about 350, and then we're just gonna put the leaves on a cookie sheet. And after about five or seven minutes, you've got these delicious, crispy kale chips that are great for a side dish or for a snack. And now I wanna show you how to make a kale salad based on what we've done for the kale chips. You've got your olive oil and your salt and nutritional yeast already rubbed in and massaged into your kale, and so now we're ready to make a kale salad. You can add whatever ingredients you prefer. I like a lot of fresh, chopped, vegetables. We've got a couple different kinds of apples, some radishes, some peppers, pine nuts toasted, and some avocados. Fantastic. And you're just going to toss this all together. This can be a side dish. This can be a main meal. You can add some beans as well, and you're good to go.